Hi there, it's Alistair here again with another ElectroSync video. I have designed and 3D printed a big radio controlled boat. What do I know about radio controlled boats? Well, absolutely nothing actually, but I thought I would have a crack at building one anyway. Now, it may not be the prettiest design and it's probably not going to be the fastest boat, but it is a boat with a little bit of a difference. It's essentially a boat designed to carry utility systems, so things like GPS, cameras, and water monitoring systems. Now, let's have a look at the design in a bit more detail. It's based around a catamaran design with each side of the hull being about one meter long. I chose this hull style for its stability, but also because it lends itself well to 3D printing. It's an airboat, so it's powered by a brushless motor and propeller, which drives the boat above the water. Uh, it uses the rudders here to steer, and I chose this design because it offered minimal disturbance to the water, so only the hull is actually touching the water. It also means that there'll be less opportunity for things to get snagged on rudders and props. So it's a fairly simple design. We'll have a look at different design aspects as we step through the build process. Two hundred and fifty print hours and five kilograms of filament later, and the main sections of the hull are finished. I used PLA plus filament. It's a little more flexible than regular PLA, and it's super easy to print. That piece of hull where the support failed, I was also able to salvage that, so that's a bonus. Let's put it all together. I gave the outside of the hull two coats with polyester resin to make sure that everything is waterproof. The very front of the bow is designed to be modular, allowing them to be replaced with different devices. At the moment I've got plans for an FPV camera and manipulator arm later on.
Everything was going well till I dropped the boat onto my workshop floor, but I was able to do a quick fix and it was time for the boat's first float test. Success, not a drop of water in the hull. Here is a rundown of the electronics using a 910 kilovolt brushless motor that's wired down through the crossbars into the main part of the hull. Servo comes in just here. Um, that aerial there is telemetry from the receiver. Um, inside the hull we have a 60 amp ESC with reverse, a eight channel receiver, only using three of those channels at the moment but plans to use more later on. Uh, we've got some telemetry off the receiver there and a lipo alarm and the battery is a 5000 mAh 4 cell um, a 30c discharge rating on that over on the other hull uh, at the moment just got one battery same battery and at the moment that's just powering um, one of the lights at the back but the plans that are to use that as auxiliary power for the rest of the systems as we go Now that we've added the finishing touches, the boat is pretty much done. It weighs in now at seven and a half kilos, fully loaded, so it's not a light boat by any means. And it's time to go and test it out in some open water. Here we are at my local lake and it is amazing weather. Let's get that boat in the water. Well, that went really well. I am really pleased with the performance of the boat. Um, it didn't catch on fire, it didn't sail off into the distance, so in my books, that's a successful test. There were a couple of issues that I would like to fix. The first was that the bow of the boat tended to dive under higher throttle settings. I think I can address this through redesigning the motor mount. The second was that when the wind picked up, it was tracking very poorly, so I think I can alter the hull slightly to improve this also. In the next part of this video series, I will be looking at designing and installing some of those systems which I mentioned earlier. I think I'm going to start with the water sampling system, but also some lighting and an FPV camera. If you like the sound of that, make sure you subscribe. 
Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of how I might be able to improve the boat. As I mentioned, I am a boat noob, so any help is much appreciated. I will see you in the next video.